So I'm doing some work here and I wanted to show a little bit about how I use Isotope RX. It's a great audio restoration software to essentially clean up any issues that might have happened during a recording. So I have this little clip here that was recorded outside and has some birds chirping, uh, some noise kind of in the background here. And I just wanted to show how I clean this up and hopefully people can take some pointers from this and be able to help themselves clean up issues in their own audio. So I'll play the audio for you now and you'll hear those artifacts that I was talking about. So the way we decided to help address this problem was to use a natural language processing model called topic modeling. What we did with these topic models is we actually used those high level topic tags. So that's all we're working on for right now. You can hear uh, in the beginning, it's a lot worse. I'm a little more hesitant to get started on that. The section over here at the end is a little bit easier. I heard some plosives going on down here in the, the lower end of things. Um, and up here, you can actually see these chirps. So if you're just getting started with RX, this is... Um, a visual representation of everything that's happening in the audio spectrum. So down here are the lowest frequencies and up here are the highest frequencies. And everywhere where there's a, a lighter color represents some sort of um, something happening on the, on the audio frequency spectrum. So all of these lines here, which you can actually use this magic wand tool uh, to click and even you know add some harmonics here, you can see all of these or maybe I can even just hit all of them. Uh, these are all the voice of the speaker. So these are what we want to keep. Whereas the other things, this hum down here, all of this like noisy stuff, I'll use the brush here. All of this stuff, all of this down here, that's just wind. Up here is all wind. Um, and then this stuff right here, is all of those bird sort of chirpy sounds that we're gonna be focusing on. Here in particular, you can see this little swoop, and even this one up here is another harmonic, are the, the bird sounds that we're targeting. So you can even solo just those by hearing this. So those are just the bird sounds there. Here it is again in context of the whole section. Modeling. What we did with the... So this piece right here, I'm going to start with because it's going to be really easy. Uh, I'm just going to use my brush tool and just highlight just that section where the bird's chirp is. Oops. Let me make sure to hold shift to ensure that I'm getting both of those chirps. And then I have just the gain, um, you know, little module here. And I'm just going to start reducing that. I think probably about 15 to 20 dB down is probably what I'm going to want. Let's start with 10 and add more. It's always good to start low and then continue to add more as opposed to adding one big correction, uh, which will be a little bit more obvious to hear. So let's process that. And I can still see those a little bit. Let me process it a little bit more. That top one's gone now, I can see. But let me just hit this one one more time. And then now let's play that back to see how that sounds. Processing model called topic modeling. What we did with the... Just like that. What we... What we... There's no more birds there. So that's what we're going to want to go through and do throughout this entire process here. So I'm just going to do that quickly now. What we did with these topic models is we, we did with these topic... topic modeling. What we did with these topic models is we actually used those high level topic tags. That sounds great. A lot of people will use attenuate or other features. Um, you know, with this instant process, you can set up an instant gain reduction, which definitely can save some time or attenuate. This section here, you know, I can tell was cut in the editing process. So that I'm going to try and clean up. And I'm probably just going to do this, where I can grab this section here, do an ambience match, which looks like this. And so I can learn this section of ambience, which is essentially taking what this 
little snip that I've selected sounds like, and then I can just apply it here, and it's gonna kind of fill in that gap. So just like that, now it's gonna sound less dramatic of a, of a edit. And then trained 20 different models to understand. Still there a little bit. I might even just add it one more time. Might actually just boost the dB here so it's about even. Let's process that. And 20 different models to understand. That sounds a little better. All right, so now I can get rid of that. Now I gotta start focusing on this kind of nasty section. All of this stuff is gonna be a little bit harder because it's a bit more blended in with her voice. You can see some of these chirps here and here and stuff. So I might even be able to just kind of follow that. And over here, I'm sure there's plenty of other modules that I could use to try and really help me do this. That said, I found that a lot of these modules, like the D-Hum, for example, um, they definitely help and you can start chipping away at some of those things. But if you really know what you're looking for, either just atten attenuating or um, adjusting the gain here um, in that section really seems to just be kind of the quickest thing for me. So that's what I'm going to do, even though it is definitely more time intensive. Um, I'm going to bring this brush size back up a little bit to maybe about 20, 25 or something. There's a lot of stuff to clean up here. So, and you can kind of see like in these sections, this comes up with the rest of her voice. Um, so that's all part of the voice here and here. So we want to leave that, but the things that are in the middle here, all this stuff can get out of here because they're loud and distracting. Start with 10 dB. That's going to be pretty obvious sounding. Address this problem was to use a natural... Just there, you can even hear the difference. I don't know if the mic is picking up well enough. To help address this problem was to use a natural language... That sounds a lot better to me. I might even go through here and fine tune a little bit further. Um, and then while I'm doing that, I'll just kind of pause you so that you don't hear my heater, which just kicked on. Just going around her vocal frequencies. Because you can even see more so than anything where it's not going to sound good. Like all of this stuff I know is going to be gross. Get rid of all that. Some words going on there. Sorry for the sounds of my heater. Uh, it's mid spring here. It's still pretty chilly. And if I really wanted to do a proper setup, I probably should use my actual audio interface and microphone and record the audio for my computer, but I'm lazy, so doing it this way. He decided to help address this problem was to use a natural language processing model called topic modeling. When it comes to audio restoration, there's never going to be a perfect uh, end result. It's really a matter of finding the happy medium between what sounds better and what sounds too edited. Because eventually people are going to start hearing that you've messed with this audio. Uh, they're going to start hearing frequencies in the speaker's voice start coming out. You know, they're going to hear some weird unnatural sounding artifacts and that's going to be distracting 
So it's really important to just get as much out to kind of reduce the distraction and um, leave the rest because you're not going to get it perfect. Decided to help address this problem was to use a natural language processing model called topic modeling. I know on some of the newer uh, updates for RX, there are some, there's like a wind reduction module. Uh, there's like a, I don't know, a, a lot better stuff. I don't have that, so I'm just working with what I have here. Uh, some of this low plosive sounding wind can go. Again, I'm just using the gain reduction. I found that, you know, it's definitely more time consuming, but it helps me fine tune exactly what I want to take out. And that works sometimes a little bit better even than the modules. Help address this problem was to use a natural language processing model called topic modeling. What we did with these topic models is we actually used those high level topic tags. So I think that's good. I might hit just one more little section of this kind of windy plosive stuff, try and get that out. Um, maybe about there. I'll hit that one more time. And so I think that's good. And I'll now record, or I'll, I'll, um, I'll now add a before and after here with the actual good quality of the audio instead of this recording from my phone, which I'm sure sounds like garbage, so that you can hear the difference. And that's it. So the way we decided to help address this problem was to use a natural language processing model called topic modeling. What we did with these topic models is we actually used those high level topic. So the way we decided to help address this problem was to use a natural language processing model called topic modeling. What we did with these topic models is we actually used those high level topic tags.